Hello, my name is Mr. Elliot Rosario, and today we're going to go over the wonderful world of plants. This is part of third grade science unit, Plant Life. We're going to discuss things such as the parts of a plant, how plants make food, how plants reproduce, the relationship between plants and animals, and plants and humans. Throughout the lesson, I'll ask questions to you, the class. So it'll help if you have a notebook and pencil ready to write down your answers. You're going to need them for later. Alright, let's jump right into it. Here's the big idea. Our world is full of plants. Plants have parts, and each part has a function. Plants survive through the processes of photosynthesis, pollination, fertilization, seed dispersal, and germination. Plants and animals rely on each other. People use plants for both food and materials. Without plants, animals, including humans, could not survive. We're going to learn a lot of key words and skills. Some of the vocabulary that we'll learn are words like chlorophyll, chloroplast. We'll learn the process of photosynthesis. We'll learn parts of a plant, such as pistil, pollen, stamen, sprout, roots, and at the end of this lesson, there'll be a glossary, so you can review the definitions of each vocabulary word. Comprehension skills that we'll learn will include comparing and contrasting, we'll classify information, we'll look at the relationships of plants and relationships of plants in their environment and the causes and effects, we'll identify facts, we'll look at elements of a genre, interpret graphs, charts, and diagrams. How plants reproduce. Palm trees make new palm trees. Tomatoes make new tomato plants. The same is true for all types or species of plants. Each plant species must reproduce. This means it must take more plants, it must make more plants just like it so the species will survive. Most plants reproduce by making seeds. These seeds grow into new plants that are like the plant that made the seeds. On many plants, seeds are made in the flowers. Flowers have male and female parts. Some flowers have only male or female parts, and many flowers have both male and female parts. The male part of the flower is called the stamen. It produces tiny grains of pollen. The pollen grains are often carried to another flower by the wind. Animals such as bees, bats, and birds also help carry pollen. Alright, question break. What are some ways pollen can travel? If you wrote down from the wind, you're right. Pollen travels through the wind. But also, pollen can travel with the help of bees, birds, and bats. Where do plants grow? Plants live almost everywhere on Earth. They grow inside and outside. They grow in rainforest and deserts, on lush farmland and barren tundra. They grow on mountaintops and in the open ocean. Plants grow in soil, in sand, on rocks, and in the water. Plants grow wherever they can get what they need. What about plants and animals? You know that animals get food and oxygen from plants. Animals also need plants for other things. Birds use twigs and leaves to build nests. Woodpeckers make their homes inside trees or cacti. Lions nap in the cool shade of a tree. Let's see who can fill in the blank. Animals rely on plants for food, oxygen, and, can you guess it? Shelter. Good job. Plants need animals too. Plants take in carbon dioxide to make food. The carbon dioxide comes from animals when they breathe out. What about the relationship between humans and plants? Well, around the world, people depend on plants. People pick wild plants and eat them. Farmers grow and harvest plants so that people have food to eat. Much of what people need, such as shelter, paper, cooking supplies, and clothing, 
also come from plants. Much of what you eat comes from plants. When you think about eating plant parts, you might think about the fruit you eat, like a grape, apples, oranges, peaches, for example. Some foods we eat as vegetables are fruits. Tomatoes, cucumbers, squash hold the plant seeds. So they are the fruit of their plant, even if we call them vegetables. Let's do an activity. I want you to find a fruit or a vegetable in your home that's grown from a plant. Once you find one, Identify if it's a veggie or a fruit. If it's a veggie, can you tell me if it's a leaf, stem, or a root? If it's a fruit, can you tell me what type of plant it comes from? Write it down in your notebook. You probably guessed by now that plants are all around us. Plants give us food, and they also provide us with many useful materials. The wood in our buildings comes from trees. Wooden furniture, paper, and cardboard boxes come from trees too. Most clothing is made out of cloth, and those fibers come from plants. Even the coal and oil that we use for fuel were living plants millions of years ago. Many medicines are also made from plants. In fact, soap, paint, Shampoo, perfume, makeup, ink, chewing gum, and rope are often made from plants too. This slide is the glossary of vocabulary terms that we've reviewed in this lesson. Imagine a family is going out for dinner. The kids put on clean clothes, at the restaurant, mom parks a car under a large tree. Inside, everyone sits at a wooden table. Dinner includes potatoes and fresh veggies. They have fruit pie for dessert. They take the leftovers home in a cardboard box. Think about the clothes, tree, table, food, and box. What do they have in common? They all come from plants. You see, plants are almost everywhere. You also use plants in so many ways. In this lesson, you will learn what plants need in order to live. You'll learn how they make their own food and how they make more plants. You'll learn how animals and plants depend on each other. Plants are important living things. You and I would not survive without plants. Let's talk about the parts of a plant. Most plants have the same basic parts. Each part helps the plants get water, air, mineral, and light that it needs to survive. The roots of a plant have important jobs. Roots usually grow down in the soil. Most plants, roots anchor or hold the plant in place. They help keep the plant upright too. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Minerals are the nutrients that help plants grow and be healthy. The roots also store some of the food made by the plant. The stem produce, uh, supports the leaves. It usually grows towards the sun so the plant can get sunlight. The stem also moves water and minerals from the roots to other parts of the plant. And like roots, stems can store food and water for the plant. Leaves are another important part of most plants. Leaves are where plants make most of their own food. Leaves also get rid of the waste products that are made when the plant makes food. Leaves grow above the ground where the light is. They are usually flat, which helps them catch sunlight. So how do plants make their food? Do they have mouths and bellies like animals and humans? No. They use a process called photosynthesis. This diagram goes over how photosynthesis works. Number one, you'll see that the roots take in the water from the soil. Number two shows that leaves take in carbon dioxide and sunlight. Number three, sunlight makes water and carbon dioxide combine to form sugar, which is the plant's food. Number four, unused food is stored in many plant parts. Number five, 
oxygen, and water vapor exit the leaves as waste. So what is photosynthesis? It's how plants make their food. And what ingredients do they need? There's three main ones, water, air, and light. With these conditions, plants can grow and make their own food. Question break. What three things do all plants need? Write the answers down in your notebook. Number two, what is the main job of the plant's roots? Number three, what are the main jobs of the plant's leaves? For number one, if you guessed water, air, and light, correct, good job. Number two, if you guessed to absorb water and minerals from the soil, you guessed right, nice job. And number three, if you wrote down to absorb sunlight, and to expel waste, that's also right. Good job. So what did you learn? Plants grow almost everywhere on Earth. They feed us, they fill our lungs with oxygen. Without plants, animals could not survive. Plants also give us many of the products we use every day. All around you are, all around you are things made from plants. Plants add another thing to our lives, beauty. They come in many shapes and sizes. They have many colors and patterns. Earth is more beautiful because of its forests, meadows, and flowers. Our world truly is a wonderful world of plants. Thanks for being here today for this lesson. Have a great day.